What's up, y'all? It's your girl and I for kicks. We are back with another sneaker store review. Um, so recently, while your girl was up in Orlando for the Kicks for Your Soul event, I also checked out the grand opening of a sneaker shop in one of the local malls. The store is called Request. So, of course, you know, I had to pop up and take a look and I'm going to give y'all my opinions. Um, but first, I want to give y'all the look at the store. So overall, the aesthetics of the store, I would probably give them a three out of five. Um, reason being like, it's super clean. You know, everything's nice and organized. You've got the clothing racks in the middle, the shoes all on the wall, but it's very, very basic and almost the standard when it comes to a sneaker resale shop. Like when I walk into a store, that's what I'm expecting to see. It was super clean. I like the uh, you know all wood type of detailing to it the benches that kind of match the floating shelves um but for this specific location because request does have multiple locations i may or may not have already been in another location but we'll don't you worry guys i'm not gonna hold out on you we will get to reviewing another location soon but for the orlando location it's definitely going to be a three out of five it just it was just very standard, very basic, what you expect to see when walking into these type of stores. Um, so moving on to personability, now they get a solid five out of this, if nothing more than the attention to detail and communication and just sharing the general story that Malik did when we walked in. Um, so I did not have this same experience. Well, I had a similar experience at their other location but it was not on the same level. Malik really jumped in, you know, all hands on deck, did everything that he could to make sure that we were more than satisfied with our visit to the store. And he also went that extra step to give his personal contact information. That way, you know, if there was something in the future that you wanted, he's trying to establish that like essentially lifetime customer type of, you know, relationship with each person that walks in. And that's super smart. Like, I totally respect that. Um, he gave a lot of really important information on the shop, which I'll go over as we get into the other categories. Um, but I, I think that doing these reviews, like, I'm kind of a disclaimer. because I, I know everybody knows how the sneaker resale shops work. Everything's overpriced. Blah, 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 blah. I get it. Okay, but at the end of the day, they have brick and mortars, they have overhead, you don't know what they paid for the pair because let's be honest guys, in the resale game, like most resellers are buying and selling from each other more than anything these days just to make a couple extra bucks. So you don't know what they bought them at, maybe they bought them when the market was high and now the market's dropping, but they don't wanna take a loss. So all of that set aside, when I'm talking pricing, like I want y'all to remember that it's more about pricing across the board with other sneaker shops. I'm not talking pricing. If you put in your footwork, you go do an offer up meetup or you find, you know, somebody on Instagram or you negotiate that deal on eBay with somebody that does not have that crazy overhead. So anyhow, let's move on to um, the next category. So we are gonna be talking about range and variety. Um, so I would say that it's about a four out of five, which is a super fair, you know, for any resale sneaker store. 
most of them are going to be gearing towards you know the most recent releases or the hype releases or you know the exclusive expensive stuff but i found pairs in this orlando request that i had never seen before i found pairs that are currently in my ebay cart waiting for the time to pull the trigger on a good deal like y'all if y'all know me by now y'all know i love a good designer and a designer sneaker collab and i i knew that adidas had done like a gucci collab recently but i did not know that like i think it was 2019 they did a prada collab so to walk into a sneaker resale store and see pairs that you've never seen before i mean they had asics in there and of course all your Jordans, all your Nikes, you know, all of the high-end stuff that you expect to see. But I like to see that wider range. Um, they even had like, I think they had a pair of Space Jam highs there. It's just some older throwback stuff. Um, but you're not going to see your 90s basketball shoes like your Reeboks um, and, and things of that nature as much. But that's going to be hard to come across. I think a perfect score in range of variety is going to be a very very hard thing for these sneaker shops to obtain not that that's what they're working for but on my personal opinion um so our final category is going to be price now before i get into this and i almost forgot with the range of variety before i say anything else on request i need y'all to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel i need y'all to give your girl a thumbs up for seeking out these stores, hitting them up, making sure to give y'all some positive, or I guess not necessarily positive, but some solid feedback, some genuine opinion on the stores. Is it worth going to? Is it worth going out of the way for? If you're in the, the mall in Orlando, I think it's the Alamont. I always want to say Alamante, but apparently that's wrong. If you're in that mall in Orlando, guys, however you pronounce it, you know what I mean. If you're in the mall, request is definitely worth stopping into. Are you going to leave with something? I don't know. It depends on what you're willing to buy and what you need a pair for. Um, but again, guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and make sure you have that notification bell hit so you don't miss any of these upcoming reviews. And let your girl know in the comments, like, what do you agree with as far as my rating on what you saw in the store? And is this a series that you are enjoying? I know this is only number two in the series, but let me know, is this something that you're enjoying? All right, so before I get into the price, I forgot to mention with the range and variety, one thing about request is you can literally request just about any pair of shoes that you want. So while they, not, while they may not have that range of variety that you wanna see physically in store the minute you walk in, they can get it for you like they will do anything that they can to source the shoe um, they have locations in north carolina they have one in boca so i think they have one maybe in atlanta as well um but they have a lot of different ways to source shoes for you they have a lot of different sellers they do buy dead stock pairs as well so a lot of stores are getting away from buying pairs request is all for it so like I said, guys, you can request any pair just because it's not in the store on the shelves doesn't mean they can't help you find it. But bringing us to our next category is going to be price. It all depends on the price that you're willing to pay. Now, some shoes are super hard to find, and if requests can help you find them, you might pay a pretty penny for it. I think for price, I'm going to have to give them a 3 out of 5. Um, again, it's really hard to, you know talk about price when it comes to these stores 90 percent of y'all are like resale shops are way overpriced yeah they are if but if you aren't willing to put in the work or you don't know how to put in the work it is an easy solution to walk in grab the shoe just like token miami request is willing to negotiate and work with you to an extent um so that's always an option never walk into a resale shop assuming that their prices are what you're going to pay um, but I mean, it depends on, as far as requests, it really depends on which store or location you go to price wise, because one thing Malik did explain to your girl is their main store started in North Carolina. So the sneaker market in North Carolina is going to be totally different than it is in Orlando or even down here in Boca. 
one thing that they do is they keep their prices standard across the board. It doesn't matter where they're at. So they are using those North Carolina prices everywhere. So while it may seem overpriced in somewhere like Orlando, you come down to somewhere like Boca and it feels like the prices are phenomenal. So it really depends where you're at, what the essentially cost of living is, and, and really just what you're willing to pay for that pair of sneakers. Overall, I'm gonna have to give Request Orlando a 3.8 out of five, which is not bad. Um, you know, I just think, I think the biggest thing that could have been better would be the aesthetics, but it's in a mall. There's only so much that they can do, and I respect it. It's just one of their many locations, so maybe maybe just maybe we can do a better score for their other location but that's a whole nother video so guys i hope that this was insightful for you i hope you appreciated or will check out request orlando if you do end up hitting up request in the orlando um the alamont mall let your girl know come back to the video let your girl know in the comments like what your take was on the store i'd love to see how my opinion aligns with y'all so Guys, that's going to wrap up today's review, and as always, keep tuning in to I've Got My Eye On next.